Hello guys, welcome to my first tutorial on DK Movie Productions. Today I want to show you how you can track sequences with normal panning around on the program called Bonjour. Maybe here, um, where is it? Here, you can see. So what we're gonna do now, I first created this ordner where my raw footage is in, you see, it's just some movement, and yeah, okay, and um, that's the ordner where we later save our camera source, and so start your bonjour, I have 5.0 now, but use the version whatever you want, okay, now you have to click on setup import sequence and now choose your sequence I saved it to my desktop here in this ordner so click open and now my frame rate is 25 so I have nodal pan and yeah click OK so what you see is just the sequence here. What we're gonna do now is to click feature tracking, click all frames and click start. Now I'm searching for many individual points on your sequence and yeah, if you have better light it works better, um, to tr it works easier to track with the program. And don't take too much blur in it because that makes it a lot difficult than it is. Okay now can okay, I you click to if the track finished see all these tracking points. So now what you do is make double click on camera solves Click Optimize Camera Path smooth the Smoothness, click All Frames, Sequence 1, and now click Start. Okay, now you see that it uses the best points on your sequence, sequence sorry, uh, 3D, there you see, but uh, we want this. Can I click export? Export camera solve. We go after effect after effects dot ma. Click click camera solve one and what we do now is where you want to save it there it's I'm saving my own desktop bonjour and then here call it camera solve one click save now it's exporting finished now I can close Buju click here that's okay and now open up After Effects okay now you click import file go where you have your files I have here mine in, on this order so import both these files, then import the camera source and the okay I think I did something wrong. Now you see all these files and what we're gonna do is now is drag our file over here. Okay, if you have done this here, you see that these red boxes follows that they are not following your your movement. They are just staying there where they were. So if you now put anything above your raw footage it will track if you maybe put it on here 
and then you go through a tr a, a sticking through the wall. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you. So comment me if you want more tutorials. Maybe I can do some other things like um, how you can create cool splatter effects, maybe some cool explosions and then some for free with tracking too. You can message me and then I will respond or reply as soon as I can. Okay, bye and see you on my next video.